Hello, this is Naya Bonilla. I'm here in the CSB Auditorium to cover the lecture on disarmament and WMDs. 2015 marked the 70th anniversary of the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan. UNA and USA Hudson Valley invites you to learn about the ongoing efforts in the fields of nuclear and small arms disarmament. The Japanese Red Cross and the International Committee of the Red Cross were both uh, on the scene, at the scene after the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The event is about disarmament around the world, about nuclear weapons, because a lot of nations still hold on to nuclear weapons, and it's a very bad thing to have because it mostly relies on deterrence, which really isn't that much of a safe thing anymore. And I believe it's important because I'm a political science major, so I may be biased, but it's just something that everybody should know, and it's something to worry about since it has something to do about everybody's personal security. When I was elementary school student, uh, most Japanese students have went to the Nagasaki or Hiroshima as school trip, school study trip. So, uh, so we know a lot of information about this disarmament and nuclear abolition. Nations that once had nuclear weapons aren't going to have that as a backup anymore. So just like the U.S., the U.S. is probably one of the nations that has the most. Even though we don't use them, we still could say like, oh, we have these. So other nations may not view other nations as powerful anymore. So that maybe do something. And there you have it. Back to you guys in the studio.